Hello, I'm Kevin Tharp, and you're putting up with Doc T. If you've been watching this series, uh, I have been relaunching um, my putting up with Doc T website after a bit of neglect, uh, COVID, all whatever, you know, whatever caused it, it was down for a while. Uh, and I'm bringing it back, went to a new provider, um, the whole thing. And during the import and export process, things didn't go as we would have liked. You can see some of the things that went wrong in the previous videos if you want to watch those. But it was so broken that I wasn't even able to get good data. And data is what I want to talk about in this particular video. So uh, in the previous uh, videos, I showed you that the site was broke because it had temporary URLs. It had HTTP that migrated to HTTPS. Uh, this was all done on the fly without a good plan, um, and it was done over six months, a little here, a little there, and uh, it was a mess. Uh, in fact, it was, it was such a mess that we couldn't even get a good um, crawl to let us know what all the issues were. So I had some students looking at this website, and this video is part of that. Uh, so uh, Putting Up With Doc T is a branded site that uh, I have been working on for, I don't know, five, six years uh, on and off. And uh, it's just a place where I put stuff. It's a vanity blog, so there's no real uh, business purpose except to help me to stay current uh, in all of this stuff. You got to do it in order to understand it. And so what I did in the, after the last video, I went and fixed some broken images, uh, like all the images in this were, this particular article were broken. This was broken. Um, uh, I fixed all the URLs through various tools. And so basically got the site to the point where it was still bad, but good enough that you could see how bad what it was. And and the way that we saw that is, is through uh, data. And so that's, again, that's what I'm talking about today is data. So right now, when I go to my Google Analytics, this site's not seeing any traffic through Google Analytics because I had removed the, uh, the Google Analytics. For, so that's one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn on Google Analytics. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, just take a quick look at uh, some things that are going on. So this happens to be uh, Raven, um, Raven Tools. Uh, it's showing that everything's missing the Google Analytics. Uh, so that's one of the sources I use for data. Another is Screaming Frog. When I go through this, uh, you know, it, it's the same data, but it, it doesn't show up even within crawls within the same tool you'll get different things happening at different times. So it's good to use multiple tools when you're really trying to dig in this and understand what's going on. Uh, but the thing we know right now is I don't have access to the basic analytics tools uh, that will allow me to uh, to prepare my, or to take care of my site. So we're going to uh, fix that today and uh, then we'll go on from there. So what I've done is I've logged on to my WordPress site that happens to be hosted through Bluehost. That's my new provider. Uh, and so I've come into here, I've come into the plugins area because I know that Monster Insights uh, is installed on my site. And as soon as I come in here, every time I come in, it tells me connect the, the website analytics. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into... Uh, I'm going to use theirs. There's a, there's a lot of ways that you can connect your Google Analytics. Oh, there we go. There is a problem. Let's uh, put this on pause and see what's going on. All right. So the reason we were seeing that is because I had um, an ad blocker in place and it wasn't able to open this page. So I just disabled the ad blocker for this page and it brings me in here. Uh, I'm going to have to walk through this process. You don't need to watch that. You've done it a million times, and I'll be back in a minute after I get to the next step. And so now i am walked through the step. I'm going to connect Monster Insights. It's going to authenticate me to my Google Analytics. And then I choose this particular pro property. I've already found the one because I've got a lot of Google Analytics. Uh, I want to choose that one. Uh, 
and then I'm going to oh, I hate leaving those check marks in but you got to do what you got to do All right, I'm always willing to admit when I may have made a mistake. Uh, no back talk from those of you that know me. Uh, so what I did is I don't, I wasn't in the overview of the real time report. I was in the um, just the home page for the report. So the naturally the real time report wasn't up. Should have picked up on that right away, but I didn't. So you need to go to real time overview, and since that code is in there. Uh, and when I go look at the page, um, you can see it in there. But I also went into the Monster Insights page, and you can see that it's got the, the tracking code right there for the page. So if I went in and looked at that, that code again, I would be able to find that now. So anyway, um, in the analytics, now I'm starting to get data. I went there on my phone, was able to load it, um, and... Uh, never did get the traffic report from the um, from the incognito window. I just threw it a refresh on there again. So I don't know whether that's counted as two or whether or not that's my phone. So uh, actually, here we go. We can look at the data over here. So I'm there on a desktop with my um, incognito window, and I am there on my phone uh, you can't see that anyway it's it's the page and so it's picking up on both of those and because i haven't um there's not much traffic on the site right now but that's a way that you can go in and you can test uh to see if your google analytics is working and so having google analytics back up on this page is sort of a big deal and i'll show you why i uh, talked about it in previous videos uh, but uh, let's change this to, let's go to the last 90 days. There's been almost no traffic since, oh, the oh, early September 6th, maybe. Um, Yeah. <laughs> so there hasn't been any traffic because the Google Analytics wasn't on there. Now we're going to start getting traffic. Um, and I took that data off. The, it was on for a short while. Again, this has been kind of a uh, the wrong way to relaunch a website kind of thing. But uh, there were no resources and uh, no financial motivation. So uh, we didn't get it done right. Uh, so anyway, that's where we're at with this video. That brings me back to this summary where we should now start having the, uh, the data available through there. The next thing that we'll look at, we'll start making it our way through this uh, Raven Tools Site Auditor Studio report. And we will start picking up on different elements and seeing how we can... Um, improve the SEO of this page. 
you've been uh, stumbling around with Doc T. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.